let's graph the linear equation y equals 2x minus 1. We'll use a table of values, and then we'll look at slope-intercept formula. So let's start off with a table of values. We'll put in a value for x here, then we can find y, we get a point, and we'll just graph that on the table here. So why don't we start out with x is 1. You can choose any numbers you want here. I'm just choosing numbers that will end up hopefully with points that will fit on the graph. So if x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 minus 1, that's just 1. So y is 1. Let's try 0. If x is 0, 2 times 0, that's just 0. So y equals negative 1. And let's put negative 1 in. 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. And negative 2 plus negative 1 here, that's negative 3. So these are the points that we'll graph for the equation y equals 2x minus 1. x is 1, y is 1. So 1, 1. x is 0, y is negative 1. 0, negative 1. Finally, when we have x is negative 1, y is negative 3. So x is negative 1, y is negative 3. And you can see these points, they all line up on our graph. Let's put a line through them. And we can put arrows here to show that the line goes to infinity. So that's a graph for y equals 2x minus 1. Again, you can choose any points for x, find y, and that point, that'll be somewhere here on the line. Let's check our work with slope-intercept form. So we have y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y-intercept. That's just negative 1. So we should intercept the y-axis at negative 1. And right there, we intercept at negative 1. So that's the y-intercept. The slope, m, that's going to be 2. But it's good to think about it as 2 over 1, because then we can call it rise over run. So we go to the y-intercept right here. We rise 1, 2. We go over 1. And from there, we rise 1, 2, go over 1. And you can see these points are on the line. You can also go in the opposite direction, down 1, 2, over 1. Down from there, 1, 2, over 1. So that's how you use slope-intercept formula. This is Dr. B graphing the equation y equals 2x minus 1. Thanks for watching.